everybody, and welcome back to episode nine of Puppies and Pour Overs. I'm your host, Nick Miller. Thank you for joining me. Today, I want to talk about energy. I want to talk about energy because I feel like it's a word that gets thrown around in dog training circles. We get the sense that, call it energy, call it vibes, call it what you will, there's something there that affects how our dogs respond to us. And I think on a common sense level, we all know that. We all can see people that have good energy with their dogs. So what do we mean by energy? The root of it is in, within, and work. So work within. So there's a sense that there's this vitality, there's this work coming from within us, but I guess also there's a play on it and thinking that there's work that we can do on it within us. So we're always sharing energy with our dogs. The question is what kind of energy are we sharing and how is that affecting our relationship with our dogs? So there's a difference between sit, good dog, and sit, 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 sit. No, what, li, why don't you listen to me? Sit, sit, I said sit. So those two types of reactions would elicit two very different responses from our dogs. So how do we work on our energy? It can seem like something that we can point at, but we can't quite touch it. We can't quite define what it is. So when I'm working with a client, and we might have human anxieties over how the dog is going to react in different situations, I like to work from the outside in. And so I want to give you a few practical tips that you can think about if you ever feel like your energy is getting a little out of skew, out of whack with your dog. The first, a scan of your body for tension. You will pick up tension in the strangest of places. For me, I know I'm always carrying tension up in my shoulders, but I've been surprised over the years to see how much tension I actually carry in my hands when I'm holding the leash. I can't tell you how many people I have to say when I'm watching them walk their dog, just relax your elbow. Relax your elbow. Act like you're carrying a bag when you have the leash in your hand. The leash should start up at your shoulder and it should travel all the way through your arm, through your hand, to where the leash connects to the dog's collar. So notice that relaxation through your body, all the way down through the leash to where it connects to the dog. You're one unit, you and the dog, when you have the leash on them and you're doing this work. You're one unit and they're going to sense that energy that you're giving off. The next, Remember to breathe. Notice the breath. Watch the breath from the beginning all the way to the end. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Nick Miller. Peace, love dogs.